In this video demonstration, I'm going to talk about model-based configuration, which is a new feature in Cisco DNS Center 2.1.1. So let's see what this feature really does. So if you look at how we manage our configuration today on DNS Center, there are three ways to do it. Uh, in fact, two ways before this new feature came in. So there's a network intent based config, which is basically what you do via site hierarchy and network design and wired and wireless profiles that you create to deploy configuration that eventually get provisioned on the network device. And to do day N configuration or advanced feature level configuration, you relied on CLI templates so far. So we have support for velocity based templates as well as Jinja2 based templates starting with 2.1.1. What we are however adding is something called model based config. So this one helps you learn some of the advanced brownfield configuration from the network device which you can then convert it into a design. You can make the changes that you need on this design and then deploy this configuration to other devices on the network or to the same device. So essentially this is platform and iOS agnostic, uh, helps with brownfield learning. There is also a way where you can roll back configuration to your previous config and it allows you to customize feature level configs. So let's look at uh, more details on how, the, how this exactly works. So prior to 2.1.1, like we said before, you had two options using intent based UI or CLI based templates. The challenge here is it involves you to use the provisioning option multiple times and it kind of hinders automation adoption. Now with model based configuration, it allows us to close feature gaps in the UI by enabling advanced options. It also achieves balance between unified and comprehensive UI options. So let's look at uh, what are the different model based configurations we have on Cisco DNS Center 2.1.1. So there is four features that we are currently supporting with 2.1.1. Uh, there is support for clean air based config for wireless network. There's also global IPv6, multicast and advanced SSID configuration. So here is a screenshot from clean air config. So if you, if you see here, the knobs here that we have on DNS center are very similar to the knobs that you have on the wireless LAN controller. Now each of these different options enable a certain clean air configuration. Now I could just learn from a device that's already running clean air which will give me all the options on clean air along with the ones that are enabled on that design already then i could go and make additional changes to it and save that as a design and then once i go into network profile i can attach this uh, model based configuration and then deploy uh, this config or design to other network devices essentially it is allowing me to do a diff and provision only the changes for a specific feature. So we support uh, AROS in this release. Support for iOS XE WLC will be on an upcoming release. So let's actually look at this as to how it works on the UI. I have a Cisco DNS Center that's running version 211. If I go click on this help tab and click on about, it shows me I'm, version, I'm running version 211. I also have a wireless LAN controller that's already being managed by this DNS center. So if I click on provision and inventory, under the site SJC5, I can see a wireless LAN controller 3504, which is a AROS based controller that's already in a managed state from this DNS center. And it's already been assigned to a site. So this particular controller uh, is already running clean air configuration on it. So let's go learn that configuration so that we can then convert that to a design, modify it, and then apply it on um, the same network device or any other wireless LAN controller you may have on the network. So now I'm going to click on tools. And I'm going to launch model config temp editor. So we have support for four different models today. And all of these are AROS based models. Support for iOS XE is coming in one of the upcoming releases. 
So our interest is clean air configuration. So I'm going to click on discovery. I will use my controller here, which is 3504 and discover model configs. So clean air um, is what we are interested in. So I'm looking at a 2.4 gig radio where I can deploy clean air. So I'm going to create design. And as soon as I do that, I can learn what's already enabled on the device. So clean air was enabled on the 3504 controller. Hence, I can see this enable knob already turned on. And then as I look at the interferers, uh, the config right now on the device already has two interferers enabled jammer and microwave oven. So I'm going to rename this and convert this into a design. So I'm going to call it new demo config. And I want some reporting to be enabled. I'm going to enable reporting. Uh, I'm going to enable a few more additional interferers here like BLE. Uh, I also want uh, Bluetooth paging. I want to enable spectrum and video camera. And I want to add some comment here. New design 2020. Okay, and then click on save. Now this is saved as a design. Okay, so if I go under design and if I click on cleaner, I can see the one that I just created here with the description. And I can always go and edit this, make additional changes and save this. But how is this going to get applied to a network device? So I need to go into design and click on profiles. So there's already a profile that's being used to automate config on my wireless LAN controller. It's currently applied to three sites. I'm going to click edit. And now you find an option to attach model configs. In the previous releases, you would only find add templates or attach templates, which means you have an option to add a CLI template. But now in 2.1.1, in addition to that, you're also seeing attach model configs. So I click on add. Uh, my device type is a wireless LAN controller and it's a 3504. Uh, and my template is a wireless uh, model template, clean air. And the one that we just added was new demo config. I'm going to click add. And now I, I want to save that and provision my controller. So in order to provision, again, I click on provision and go into inventory. So I pick my wireless LAN controller. And then from actions, I'm going to click on provision device. So it's already assigned to a site. Uh, so now it shows me all the configuration that's coming in from the network profile that I just showed you. In addition to that, now I'm also getting at the third step, the model config. So this is the model config that we want to change. If you want to edit it, there's an option to do that right now. So the next option here is if you had a CLI template, you could also select the CLI template from here. And then finally, it gives you a summary of what changes are going to get pushed on the controller. So these are all the changes that's going to get pushed. Um, in addition to that, there is the clean air configuration we just provisioned. So if I want to know the details of that config, I click on this I button that tells me all the configuration that is actually going to get enabled on my controller. And then I say deploy, which now gives me an option to apply the config or I can schedule it for later. I'm just going to click apply. And that's pretty much it. So the provisioning is started and once it completes, the new clean air config that I just applied from the from DNA center controller would be applied on the wireless LAN controller. So that completes the model config editor demo. Thanks for watching.